Hello guys and welcome to my thermal expansion tutorial on the pulverizer. Now this is a very cool machine that most people use it. If they don't, they're simply insane. Okay, so this is the interface as usual. Um, power, input, two outputs and all the tabs which I'm not running over. I'm not doing the recipe either. So as you can see we can put some ores in here. Now this is what most people use this machine for. Because you see this doubles like from one ore gives you two pulverized iron where if you put the ingot in it will only give you one piece of pulverized iron then you can take that piece of pulverized iron and you can cook it off back to a normal iron ingot so you can't gain anything through this machine except when you use ores to process them instead of the well the ready ingot apparently this mod can also pulverize some of its own machines it doesn't seem to do all of them though, so don't bargain on that. It's slightly pointless though. It can pulverize gravel into gravel into flint, as you can see here. And it can also pulverize stone into cobblestone. And then that cobblestone, it can pulverize into, I think it was sand with an optional gravel. So sometimes it'll give you gravel. You can also automate this machine with pipes. I just haven't done it yet. So, as you can see, it works pretty fast. And then it just outputs. And it outputs the dust. So you have to put a redstone furnace or some type of furnace next to it. As usually, it automatically pumps things out. If you click here on the middle on recipes, you can see all the recipes and the chances of it giving you the things you need. And... I just ran past it. You can see it like it doubles diamonds and emeralds. So, definitely worth it. Once again, it's a very quick machine to run over. It doesn't do much, but it's probably one of the most handy machines in the game. Okay, so that's that's the pulverizer. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next video.